Hello Tandy Lab fans, it's Jacob and today I'm doing a first boot on some Tandy computers, specifically our oldest Tandy computers we have. We have uh, three Tandy 1000s, two original 1000s, one A, and we're going to be uh, testing all of them and see if they boot up. I do have a uh, copy of MS-DOS in the drive. It's a uh, MS-DOS 2.11. So let's see uh, how this works. Hopefully it does. Let's see. Uh, we have a CM11 monitor plugged in, so we are using the uh, CGA connector, not composite. And it's red now. Well, magenta. All right. Let's see if it powers on, fingers crossed. This is one of the uh, 1000s, not the A. We'll do that one last. OK, it is powering on. That is quite the loud fan back there. We, it does say it has 384K available. That's pretty cool. I hear a beep. And I hear the uh, floppy drive growling up. And look at that. That's not quite right. I do notice that the two drives in the front here, uh, there's a light for each one, a power light, and only the bottom one's lit up. So I'm wondering if it's configured different. I'm thinking that we're having an issue with the uh, connection to the floppy drives, because that's not right. You shouldn't have one permanently off, one permanently on. Um, interesting just for kicks i'm gonna turn it off and then uh going to uh there we go take that out and try it in the other drive just for fun but i don't think it's gonna work it's got the 384k that's good it, all the ram chips are working oh i hear disk access. <laughs> oh, the light's flashing. Oh, look at that. Success. I am in DOS. Uh, I did not think that would work. So it looks like the bottom drive is working just fine. It is set to A. Okay. Uh, that's a bit weird of a configuration, we'll have to look into that, but it works! Hooray! Alright, let's go on to computer number two. Okay, I'm gonna start with uh, with this one, with it in the bottom drive, since that worked on the other one. I don't know if that's normal. Let's find out. Hear a beep. And yes, it... it Sounds like it's booting up, but we gotta wait to see if it actually does. Because you never know. Oh, look at that. DOS 2.11. Hooray. Okay, so it looks like for uh, both of these, the bottom drive is uh, A. Guess that makes sense. Though, uh, in my mind, A should be the top drive. Uh, can we can we get a like poll on that? Should a which drives a which drive should be b? <laughs> uh, hmm. Yep. All right, that is uh, a success on one thousand two. Now we're going to try the one thousand a. All right, it's time for the one thousand a. Now this one has the drives labeled with a as the top one. So I'm going to try that one. OK. Uh, oh. Is, it, is that drive upside down? The, uh, I think it's upside down. I've never seen a left-handed floppy drive before. <laughs> Let's find out. 
it's booting up. Wow, these things uh, really appreciate how loud they are, <laughs> especially when I'm so used to handling, you know, the, like the TLs and SLs and then the RLs, which are so quiet. Uh, it's very loud. Let's see. Okay, nothing's happening. Wait. Nope. Maybe it's just a weird drive. Let's find out. I'm not hearing any floppy drive activity. Wait, now I am. You gotta let it beep first. Ooh, uh, that does not sound good. I'm gonna turn that off. Oh gee, you couldn't load from that. What a surprise. <laughs> this drive's, yeah. This drive is very strange. Let's try the bottom one. I'm thinking this is gonna work. Place your bets. Yep, it's it's trying to read from the uh, bottom drive. Nope. I am going to say that's a failure for strange reasons. I think there's something going on. Someone did something weird with the uh, drives here. And uh, we're gonna have to look into it and see what that was. But uh, until we do figure that out, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you check out some of our other first look videos. Uh, there'll be a thing on screen you can click. Yeah, see you next time.